So here's the famous ram pump in action. Um, the silver pipe down here comes from a tank. It flows through that valve and that valve just has a flap on it. So when the water gets flowing fast enough, it closes the flap. And then it sends a little shock wave which fills up those vertical black pipes with air. The air gets compressed, compressed, compressed until it pushes water out here and out this red hose. Right now we've got that red hose up on the roof. You can see the pressure is about 23 pounds per square inch, which translate to about 54 feet. So we're pumping up on the roof, 54 feet or what's that, about five stories. And I'll move slowly. Here's the pipe that comes down. You can see that barrel and that's where the water comes from. So it drops six feet, flows down the pipe, comes up the flapper valve, compresses the air in these tanks, and then pushes the water out up on the roof, almost six stories up. Yeah, does that make sense? These orange barrels, they don't do anything. It's just weight to keep the pump from bouncing around. But that's the main part right there. And the cool thing is, is it runs by itself. It runs till it shuts, pushes the pressure, pressure wave into the tanks, and then it opens again, closes again, blah, blah, blah. It can run forever. I've never seen it, but rumor or urban legend says there's one of these in Kenya that's been running for over 100 years, which I would believe, because nothing, there's nothing to wear out except the metal in that valve. So it could run for forever. So what we're gonna do in our next, oh, sorry. That red hose that goes out and goes up to the roof, there's Damien right there. He's the chief investigator. It goes up to the roof and then Damien fixed up a little valve on the roof so that it turns the water and then it flows back down off the roof. And this is what we're getting. So it doesn't look like a lot, but again, we're pumping up almost 10 times higher. And the reason a ram works well is because you're hoping that this runs all day and all night. So that's not a lot of water, but um, it's about half a liter a minute, right? Yeah, about half a liter a minute. This is about nine liters a minute. So, yeah, it's not that much, but it runs 24 hours a day. So half a liter a minute times 1,440 minutes, you could get 700 liters, which is quite a bit of water if you let it run all day. So our thought is we're gonna try and increase the air capacity in here. So we're gonna change out these black pipes. Could you lift those up? And Damien's got, we're gonna substitute two of these white pipes for the black pipe. And hopefully we'll increase the flow coming out of here. So maybe, anyway, the hope is it'll increase the flow a little bit more. We don't know, that's the whole thing with research, right? You give it a shot and see what happens. So I will shut it off here, but turn it back on after we've changed out the air chambers. Cool? So here's the new setup. You can see the new white tanks that give us about eight times more air. Um, we're running the results now. It doesn't look like it make a huge difference, maybe a little bit. But same setup, red hose going up to the roof and then the black hose coming down from the roof. You can judge whether it looks like a lot more or not. <laughs> it's not much more, maybe a little bit. But yeah, same setup, same size, everything, except for the white plastic PVC pipes instead of the metal pipes. A little easier to work with, a little cheaper, but um, other than that, looks about the same. Okay. I'll send this off to you, and if you need more info, let me know.
Okay, thanks.